Welcome back, everybody. Drake Hawkins with you again, playing some more Going Medieval. And uh, um, I'm thinking uh, this is a uh, tight and inconvenient planning, kind of like my real life right now. Um, everything's a little bit of a rush. So this one's going out a, f a couple hours late, probably, uh, if I can even get it up in time uh, for the day. Uh, but uh, last uh, last episode, we started this beautiful, um, um, well, a table in the middle of nothing but we're making a grand hall and the idea is that the grand hall will be able to have access to going right down here into the uh um into the food storage and they'll have a lovely place here to do all those other grand hall ish type things um having said that we definitely are in a pinch it is the first day of winter it's minus 11 out and we're gonna have snow on our table this is not convenient on a side note, in real life, we're looking at uh, we're signing a lease today for a new place, so hopefully that stress will disappear. And uh, when we get into the new place, we can even start doing some more upscaled uh, production stuff, which is exciting. But that'll be for later. Now, settlers are exhausted. No surprise. They must be working hard. Ah, uh, yes, we've also got Quirky over here working on the salt production for the preservation of the last of the season's vegemables. A lot of this stuff is uh, now going to be too low. All of it's going to be too low for production. I love that the beats just keep going. Just like too bad. We're we're just we're just keep going to keep rolling. Uh, interestingly, these herbs are going to stay unfinished. Might even be destroyed by the winter. Not sure. The flax is still growing, really. Okay, so it didn't get hit by the temperature. Neither did the barley. All right, cold cold tolerant stuff. Uh, so I need to step up our construction game, basically. Uh, right now, we have all the bodies, I think, taken care of. We got a pile of stuff that some a few people missed on their dropping of materials, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, the warfare stockpile over there. We got a bone yard there and a bone yard here. So the enemy should recognize that it's not a smart place to hang out. We're going to leave Quirky Mining there. Uh, there was a couple things that you guys had pointed out. Just going to bring down our levels here. Uh, that possibly I've got this, I had this set to a, where was it? Forever, until we have, until we have. Forever on the steel deconstruction. Oh, yeah, this one was dismantled set wrong. Okay, so this uh, dismantle item for cloth, I set to amount instead of forever. So that was the issue with a lot of this cloth material still sitting around in here. Like, why do we have all these gambesons and everything still sitting here instead of getting ripped apart? So that's good. That's uh, Thank you for pointing that out. We did get the orders put in to fix the temperature issue down here. Uh, not that it's going to be a problem for a while because it's uh, minus 1.4 degrees in here. It's actually warmer here than it is outside. So because the heat is coming in from the brewery here. But it'll be cold enough overall to, to keep that functional. Now, I really, really want them to get this stuff done. So, uh, we got Quirky doing the iron stuff. Do we have a shortage of stone works? No, we got plenty of stone. We still have a few thousand, I'm sure, sitting over here. 45, 4,600. Yeah, that's enough for now. Uh, so, that's a lot of stone work there. What were we eating on? Some, some more lumber. Do we have wood supply? We got 500 of it. Okay, so we should be good. Let's have a look at the schedule. Not the schedule, the jobs. And see whom we can get shuffled up. So, right now, we got a lot of meals available. I'm going to go ahead and get constructing on Drake down to two, so he starts doing that first. Quirky is mining first, and then I'll get her on cooking. Trey. Trey is doing uh, tree cutting research. You can drop down and you can start with the building as well. Denny is doing tailoring as his first. We're going to drop him to add. So he's going to do the crafting and hauling and, uh, sorry, crafting first and steward first, and then he's going to go here. That's good. Uh, Haeckel, uh, we got you, your primary is cooking and then doing garden stuff, so we're gonna, neither of those are top priority anymore. Well, the growing isn't exactly, it's not exactly growing season anymore. Um, you, El Surian, you could be doing research, but it's not, it's not a passion, you have none of those. You're just kind of a, our, our local Eeyore. We're gonna put him on constructing as well. Uh, Rasmussen, you can also go on to... A two for constructing. Actually, let's... Do I do that? Yeah, that's fine. We'll go two for construction. The mining will be done by Quirky, and she won't take too long to finish that up. Uh, Jive is doing his garden and cutting. 
And so I don't need to change this because he'll go straight from that into mining. Um, old lady's on constructing already, constructing and smithing. That's why her smithing hasn't been being done much. Building research, you can go ahead with adding this to your priority and you're a carpenter, you can add that to top one. Edric, our newbie, welcome to the clan. Um, and uh, you're gonna go this way as well, good. And we are going to find you. And we are going to name you Bailey. Thank you, Bailey. Um, and there we go. That is that is that. So we should be able to get onto our constructing very aggressively here now. Uh, the research stuff they'll finish as soon as they're finished that project. They should switch over to their new queues. Excellent. So now, now comes the workaholic fest. There's look at that five of them working. Bam, bam. Look at that happening so quick. We gotta we're gonna give them new stuff to do almost immediately. I'll let them finish up what's there. Good. They're all queued. Let's go ahead and put in flooring for the whole place. Now, uh, I'm going to add two more tiles of flooring around everything. We go there. Good. That'll get them pulling a bunch of uh, new stoneworks in to put the floor in. Is that going to be big enough? I think that's a great size, honestly, for it. So I want to take, I think we'll have the wall outside. So I'm going to go from here right along this way. Oh, no, that didn't work. Hold on, let me try the deconstruct controller. On a single layer, let's go from here to here, and we can deconstruct that, that, and that. Good. Now, I'm not sure how we're going to play this one out. That would, Oh, hold on. Those two probably leave there. I think we'll go the wall out here. Out to this far, yeah. We'll go out to here. So this whole space can also be wall. That'll be exterior wall for the place. So the priority then is going to be to get that exterior wall in, and I, I'm feeling like we definitely will do a limestone wall for this one, for the hall. We can go this way and have nice support that way. That's great, and it'll run all the way out here. And then we got to decide how we're going to use this back. I think we'll have the shrines separate. I think this will be a, an entertainment space in here. Um, so the great hall can have a great set of doors right probably here would be nice that'll be walled little space offset doors i like it uh and of course we got to do the big reinforced doors because they just look badass so let's do that and then uh i don't know if we have any any entrances on the back i think it might just have a one way in type of doorway through the basement or one way maybe um and then uh let's put the back wall in here sure and i'm going to take this stuff right out of here and we're going to take this out of here good okay walls 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 let's go fast guys and i want a second floor immediately on this a second layer of of uh stone wall all the way along there, and all the way along there, and all the way along here, and all the way along here. Good. Now, we got to think about our spacing here because we can't roof this entire thing as is, can we? How far can I get the beams? If I put a brace in here and here, I put a wall in here and here, or not, or here, here and here. That one can go away. I like it. And then we can put in like that. And hi. Support beams needed to place between two walls. I'm trying. A cold snap. No. Not when we're not done. The buildings. Uh-oh. This could be bad. All right. Like that. To brace everything. Can we maybe make that too? Thank you. All right. I like that. And then we're going to put a set in here. Nope, not in there. And here, this one goes away, please. And uh, in here, we're going to have also not that. I want a doorway in here. And I want a beam across there, 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 
there and here. And we can have an internal window in here. It can be made of stone as well. So there we go. Um, and I think the hall can have some some fancy windowing going on upstairs would be nice. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Uh, and then we got to figure out how we're going to do that over on this side. What are we going to do on this side? Um, two like that, and then maybe two like that. And then that. Oh, I like it. I like it. There. 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 And then this side, I think we'll do that a big batch of them over there nice excellent okay so that needs to get uh, done and they're gonna freeze uh uh oh settlers unconscious no Did somebody take him to bed okay we're gonna have troubles with the temperature here we got some braziers in here so that might help a little bit uh did we get that construction done downstairs we almost did except for the oh no the door's in that's good now how's the temperature down here minus seven good it's freezing i like it and here, minus 10.3. Oh, goodness gracious, that's not, that's, that's a little too cold to work in. Uh, uh, okay, um, let's say we put in a brazier or two, right there, and there. How about the kitchen? Kitchen's, uh, at least it's not actually freezing. Uh, and in here, in the library downstairs, it's nice and cool, good. It's actually freezing in the library. It's not ideal, but... Uh, this is in a cold snap, and I'm, I'm wondering if that is okay in spite of it being a cold snap. Minus six degrees. Not something we need to tend to immediately. The torches are not going to keep that place warm enough. That's the bottom line. This is also not going to stay warm enough without some sort of heating. So we're going to go ahead and put a brazier in there and there. And that should heat the place up enough, even the upstairs, because they are connected, I believe. Let's hit V to check the rooms. Yes. Oh, in fact, the, the this that's right. The um the underground is also connected. Hold on. Um that's supposed to have some sort of doorway in it. But that's fine. That's fine. We'll leave it as is. Doesn't matter. Okay. They're working away out in the cold. You're going to pass out, guys. I'm sorry. You'll just get taken to a bed as soon as you collapse. Look at that. Look at them all just hanging out at the great in the great hall already. Having happy chats and dinner. So good. So good. We're ignoring the cold. We've done this before. We've done minus 30. <laughs> we'll leave those windows. I think we'll leave them closed, Modig. You can build them open, but let's... There you go. There you go. Nice and nice job finishing that up. Ah, Red Steel, Haeckel, all their construction levels going up. Everybody knows how to build in this team. Something to do with it being a mandatory behavior. Settlers suffering from the cold? Yeah, I know. And Quirky's still out there mining like a champ. Look at her. Look at her. Crazy. Just like, I got this. Visibility reduced from the snow? That's okay. I can still wield a pickaxe. Ain't gonna stop me. <laughs> Love it. It's coming together. Oh, it's gonna look so good. Oh, I like it. Uh, we're gonna put the uh, backgammon tables that are over here. We're gonna put them indoors. Let's uh, let's look at doing that right away. Let's put one uh, there maybe, and one there, and then we can probably put a um, a standing torch, which we have not done yet. We'll put one there, and I think we can put uh, hmm. that pillar is interesting, but this central pillar, but it's not going to be um, supportive up top, is it? We're going to do that. And I think we will not, I think what we're going to do is shell, is roof this. Look at them go. Becoming annoyed. Yeah, me too, buddy. What's the matter? Desperately thirsty. Oh, are we short on foodstuffs? Okay. Back to the uh, scheduling. I'm going to drop Drake by one there. And uh, whom else? Um... Raz and Hegel can both go to prioritizing cooking. Good. That'll also get you guys out of the cold a little bit.
Settlers' wounds need tending. Yeah, I know, buddy. Here, it's called frostbite. Oh no, he's unconscious. Somebody's somebody going to recover him? Carrying the wounded. Good job, old lady. You're awesome. Oh, somebody else got to him. Yeah, Drake threw the threw him in there. They both rushed to save him. Good job. Way to go, team. You guys are amazing. Oh no, Quirky, Modig, Trey, all unconscious. Oh boy. This could this could go bad fast. <laughs> oh, Quirky got back up on her own. Look at her go. She's having a hard time getting there though. You're, you're gonna pass out again on the way. Look at that. Losing HP from freezing. But she's she's tough. She's one tough bird. Look at you. Ha <laughs> ha. Trey is still unconscious. Rasmus is unconscious. Oh boy. Somebody carry him home. Raz is sleeping outside. Can somebody go get him? Thanks, Drake. <laughs> Quirky's unconscious. She's in bed, though, isn't she? Or she's up here, isn't she? Yeah. She's unconscious, but she's in bed. At least they will, uh... Oh, old lady running around, being the doctor. What are you doing? What are you doing, Quirky? Are you going for something to eat? Fair enough. I understand. One moon needs tending. It's hypothermia. Can't take it. Hey! Oi! Drake's passed out on the living room, on the, on the front step. Take him home. Somebody take him in. You got him? Nope. Oh, yeah, you got him. Oh, old lady threw him. Just threw him over her shoulder. She's like, yeah, Drake. Up on the shoulder. Off we go. <laughs> this is great. These, these cold snaps. Well, we're out of the cold snap, actually. Okay. We're out of the cold snap, but it's minus 27, 26 still. So that's dangerously cold. Although where I where I'm from, I might have mentioned this before, but the most we do have uh, there are cases of people of homeless people who die from extreme cold. However, most of the actual injuries from the cold in my town uh, actually come when it's not as cold. So minus thirty isn't as likely to get people to freeze and uh, and actually be injured from freezing in my in my city because uh, when it's minus five minus ten. It's cold enough to freeze and kill you if you get stuck out like you know in your in your car and it breaks down on the highway sort of thing but people tend to plan ahead more when it's uh not as cold when it's only marginally deadly <laughs> so to speak and uh so i think we put another layer up here and make this a top have a actually defendable keep oh i like that idea i really like that idea mm Hmm. okay so if we want to have supports here, what we need is another piece of stone there, and then a set of beams again. There, 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 there. I don't know that we need all of these. In fact, I know we don't need this many. Uh, oh, it's going red because we... Can't place beam over what? Oh, did I put a window in there? Oh, I did. Well, that's unfortunate. Both of those have to go. Oops. And then we'll put windows in there. We'll do that differently. So we'll go uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. No, that one can go out as well. Not the wall, but the window. Good. Put two there and then these two can go away and we'll put in windows there. Better, nice. And then we can do some decor after that. And then these will be, these windows will be taken out and we'll put in the beams. Now, we are short on trees at this point now because of that. Oh no, we got a lot of lumber there. It's just the lumber's not stored. This is 700 lumber that's just not been taken to a storage yard yet. That's fine. All right, temperatures are normalizing again. Back to more seasonable normals. Lots of work still to do. We survived the cold in spite of the uh, craziness of building a facility while we're in the middle of uh, a cold snap. You know, it's our winter construction projects. They're really good for us. I want this piece out so I can put it in. All right, so the idea is to put the other support beams in there then. That one, for instance. And there we go. That piece is out now, and we can put the other beam in there. Good. Okay, does that mean, are these like that? Because they're, oh yes, cannot be reached. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, but um, why these cannot, oh, they cannot be reached, of course, because we have no stairwell there. 
And I think we'll put a stairwell in here then. Okay, let's do that. Let's have this, this, and this open. And we can put a stairwell under here. Perfect. And that'll get us upstairs. Good, good, good. Let's go, guys. That'll let us get up to this floor. That'll ex give us access to some of the stuff. And then another stairwell, probably. Where do we put the second stairwell? Well, I think I'm going to actually put in a support beam right along here to ensure that this is stuff for the next step up. And then there. And there to get to the second or to the top floor. That'll just let them actually walk on the top floor. See, now we can access most of that. I'm not sure if they can build this from the top. I think we'll probably have to have some sort of uh, temporary roofing access across like this. No, no, not, not all three. Come on, hold on. Let's try that again. I just need them to be able to get to the spaces uh, to access these. There we go. This is just a, a scaffolding piece. See, they can access like that. And that'll let them access these beams to put them in. Looks like we got pretty much everything built in there, except for that. Oh, that tile was uh, superfluous, if I may use that term. I don't know if it's right, but pretend like it's right. Pretend like Drake's a smart, smarty pants. Um, I think a third layer is in order. I think it's ridiculous and huge and unnecessary and completely necessary because aesthetics and then we go around the outside around the out no I'm sorry I won't do that all the way like this and we have this cool balcony effect going on for no reason at all other than to have it because that would be cool <laughs> I, I I don't know. Yeah, I think I think it'll be awesome. And then uh yeah, and then upstairs oh it took both. There that's unfortunate. Uh there and then the wall. And then the wall. There we go. That's what we wanted. There we go. And then we'll put a um a parapet around the outside in some manner. I think we also do this. Yes, yes, now we're talking, Drake. Now we're talking. Now we got ideas brewing. Um, there we go. Yes, excellent. Mwahaha. The symmetry is beautiful and off. I love it. <laughs> okay, it's still not a closed space. Uh, I'm going to put a, um, a, a ceiling on top of this. So we again need that and that to begin our beams. Hi, what just happened there? That was a weird graphic jump. Did I place something somewhere? Did I try to build something in a hole somewhere? That was weird, the whole... Both screen just jumped on me. Oh, this is lovely. This is going to be the greatest great haul I've ever made. Excellent. <laughs> and then that'll have a ceiling on top of it and a parapet wall around the outside. That'll be great. It'll be a little keep inside the castle. <laughs> I love it. Layers of defenses. Although they'll probably target our great hall and smash through the walls first. Look at that. Look at it going up, guys. It's amazing. Even the front pillars are going in quick. I can put our balcony on the front. That's right. A balcony. It's going to be amazing. 
And since it's on the second floor, it'll actually look okay with having these attached on here. Like that. All the way along there. There, and then we put some corner pieces in. It's gonna be great. There. <laughs> I love it. Prettiest castle ever. It's all about the pretty. That's what matters in your castle building. Build it beautiful or don't or not at all, right? I love how the symmetry is totally not gonna work on this. But it will, because it'll be above the, it'll be above the do doors. An asymmetrical beauty. Some symmetry, some awkwardness, all mixed together. I'm gonna take all those out. This is gonna be awkward to try to click on these, but okay. I can actually think we can take these down from the bottom floor, so that's fine. Those go away. Smack, 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 good. All the parts, I like it. Good. Oh, this is gonna be great. Look at the great hall, it's so great, guys. I'm enjoying this building. I don't know if we're running out of food or anything. We're down to 14 lavish meals. We did switch uh, three of them to actually... Drake, why are you writing? Why are you writing? Okay, that's why you're writing, because there's no cooking to be done? How is that even possible? Do we just not have food for lavish meals? Is that the issue? Waiting for resources. Yeah, because I think these require... Do we not have the herb? Is that what we're short on? No, we have lots of herb. Okay. Oh, we're actually out of food. Okay, well, it's winter. So tomorrow, I think we start with a... Oh, we could probably do it today. Let's look for a grand hunt location. The wolves. Shall we do the wolves? To purge the area of the dangers. I think that's a great idea. All right. Settlers are idle. How is that even possible? Oh, Trey, did you get yourself stuck? In a building. There's two of you stuck. What are you two doing up there, Bailey and Trey? You're stuck in a building. Literally stuck in a building. Okay. I need Quirky to come and prioritize building that. And Jive, you got to come and prioritize building that. And that has to be done like immediately so these two dimwits can get to their space old lady are you there can you do this one instead they're stuck they're literally physically stuck in a wall they can't finish because they can't move oh and trey just passed out old lady just passed oh no settlers are starving now they shouldn't be but they're stuck starving because they're stuck in the wall uh, okay, um, Drake, how about not enjoying the entertainment? How about finish this piece so these two can get out of here? Somebody else is going to carry that friend home. Good. Old lady's on her way home. Drake's got to finish this piece so that now they can get out. Good. Excellent. Now take Trey. No, no. No, I got to be able to click on Trey somehow. No, no. Arg. Is this here? Can I cancel this? Will that work? Uh-oh. Nobody's... Somebody, oh, Trey just stood up and collapsed again. Settlers are starving. Bailey's going to eat now. Not starving anymore. Good. Somebody got to take Trey, please. He's stuck in the wall, I understand. It may have been his own fault, but somebody's got to sa save his butt. Oh, Trey got up on his own. Good job, Trey. He got hungry enough that his unconsciousness broke to uh, getting something. To eat. Oh, and they passed out again. <laughs> Can we click up here to tell you to do stuff? No, eh? Is somebody going to. Oh, Drake is listed as carrying him now. Good. Good, good, good. Go get him, Drake. Run him home. He had a rough day, okay? It's minus 30 outside. Minus 30 upstairs and minus 28 in the, ba in the outside basement. Accurate. The breezes upstairs would definitely make it feel colder. Although wind chill doesn't actually change the temperature. It changes the felt temperature, but still. That was, yeah, that was a bit of an oops. That piece of wall. 
<laughs> so we'll do the hunt tomorrow, now that Trey got us slightly distracted. That's okay, Trey. We don't hate you for it. We do. We would be upset if you did it again. You too, Bailey. You were both involved in that nonsense. Didn't he finish that piece? Good. We can place that one back in properly to, to get that properly finished. Good, good, good. I could have put a temporary wall a roof over, but... Hey, they handled the cold wave. They're okay for another three or four days. Now, they won't be able to get to this one, will they? No, they will not. Um, okay, we'll put another temporary uh, couple pieces of that out there. To access that in time. Good, getting more done. Well, that'll be it for today, though. We'll do a hunt tomorrow and get ourselves uh, uh, some beet meat back on the menu because we're, we're getting short on the foods. I don't want them spending too much focus on the packaged meals. We have 60. We'll make it through the season, no problem. Um, we can make a few meals and make it through the season. There's a thousand salt so stored and 3,300 not stored. I think we're okay for the salt for a while. What do you think? <laughs> yes, that'll, that'll do just nicely. Um, let's put another, no, the two back end tables is probably fine with the schedule they've got. This, this one can go away and this one, there we go. The back end table properly. Good. Excellent. All right. Well, that's it for today. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. We almost have the Great Hall built, or at least it's far further along. Soon it's going to be able to get a roof so they won't freeze and all that stuff. Well, still suffering from the cold a little bit, but, you know, that's all right, right? <laughs> Thanks so much, everybody. See you in game.